Hello there, very special good evening to you and welcome to Mr. Chairman. I'm David Samuels, wherever you are in St. Lucia, in the big wide world, but specifically in St. Lucia, from Groselais in the north to Vieux in the south, our friends on the eastern coastline, of course, our friends in Denry and Miku and Environs, not forgetting those folks at Marigo and Jackmel, not forgetting you find folks at Slurry, Canneries, uh, Souffre, Choiselle, Labry. Thank you very much for attending yet another meeting tonight. On this week's Mr. Chairman, we focus on the Castries Constituencies Council, CCC, through its Mayor and CEO, Mr. Peterson Francis and Ms. Anselma Cauldron, respectively. We learn about some of the challenges confronting the CCC during its day-to-day -day operations, meeting its monthly wage bill, increasing revenue streams, city vending, public transportation, bus terminal plans, proposed metered parking, city police keeping the city clean, solid waste management goals, and the rebranding of the CCC amongst other matters, plus your calls, of course. It's all happening on Mr. Chairman tonight. Thank you very much, Madam CEO. Thank you Thank very you much, Your here. Worship. Thank you. Thanks very much for being here tonight and yes, from taking sure. time. I know you guys were socializing with some hoity-toity folks tonight, <laughs> and um, I got you guys to leave pretty early, I imagine. And For to sure. find your way here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I hope I didn't spoil the fun. Oh, no, anyway. that's okay. Yeah. That's all right. At, at, at least um, we are actually ensuring that we we continue to to do a little more than just socialize and continue the work even beyond the uh, the, the, the the regular hours. Engage, but that's okay. Engage Engaging the people. With, yeah, there you go. Um, yeah. We got a little bit of interfacing with individuals who are more on the social, and now we are going to be interfacing with individuals. Um, in the far and wide, I should say. Yeah. Before I, I, I ask any questions, I just want <coughs> to publicly thank you guys. Um, I have been a, a CDC boy for years, eons. Mm. And so Castries has always been very special to me. Mm. I remember a time when Castries was such a beautiful, well-kept, clean city. And so I was able to see the deterioration, especially in the 80s and 90s. It, it really dropped in its, in its standards. And um, for you folks to have just taken over where others have left off, and to have created such a buzz mm. in the city. Um, everywhere you go, people talk about the mayor and his CEO and the staff, there, how things have changed. Like all of a sudden, um, care is being shown in many areas that one got a feeling that some of your predecessors never really cared. That, that's my, my way of putting it. So, it's a good way to open the batting. I, I just want to say to you both that you folks have really done a, a tremendous job. And based on some of the discussions we had yesterday during our pre-discussions, um, I want to say to the people of Castries, wow, you're in for a really interesting ride. And I'm quite sure that um, by the time we open the lines, and um, and you probably have your questions to ask. I'm quite sure you are going to be very, very surprised at what Castries is going to be like in the next two to three years. So thank you very much once again, both of you, for taking time to be here this evening. Mm -hmm. The function of a mayor in the city, I, I sometimes wonder whether people really know what a mayor is, what a mayor does. And would you like to give us some sort of indication as to I know you hear the Lord Mayor of London <laughs> 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 you hear the mayor, the mayor of Fort de France, the mayor of 
of Paui and so on. Um, and here where you had the June. <laughs> and, and this time you had, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's a nice <laughs> one. What is... What does a mayor do? What is what is ready to function of a mayor? Basically, I mean, the, I don't know. I believe there was a misconception before. Or probably the politicians never allowed the office of the mayor to function. But basically, the mayor is in charge of the city. I mean, only in St. Lucia, we take that, that, that thing very lightly. But I mean, when you go to, let's say, close by to Martinique, the mayor basically have a quasi government. Mm -hmm. I mean, you go to Switzerland; that's a big thing. I mean, it's a, it's another government, you know, and so we call it local government here, and and so on. England, you realize the the power. Um, I don't know before where the politicians stifled mayors or probably people just held the the the, the position for the name. But you are in charge of the city. And one of the things that we we have shown is that before everybody say, where's the police, where's the police? Yes, the police is, is the law enforcement. But you are the one that's in charge of the city and there are things that have to be done. And the buck stop here. Basically, I mean, as anything, you have central government who has the policies and you're part of the government. <clears throat> they have the, the policies which you have to be in tune with. But at the same time, you have to take the lead. I can't within the prime minister, say, well, Peterson, what are you doing about this? What are you going to do about that? I mean, these are the things I have to bring to him for the betterment of the, of the city. But you guys, the Prime Minister and you, you guys meet reasonably often to discuss... Yeah, we, we do. But you mm. see, the, the, the advantage that I, I have is this, you must realize I was a candidate late in the game. I mean, very, very, very late in the, in the game. And the good thing about the, 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 the leader of the United Workers' Party, as a candidate, the policies that we are looking at, everybody participated. It's not, it was not for a certain section. We all, as a, as a candidates, met and discussed the policies one by one and so on. And you had your, vo you had your views, you had a voice. Mm -hmm. So that has, you know, basically give me the, say the vision, but I know what the party what is working on. So I do not have to basically bother the prime minister to say, hey, this is, I know the vision of what the Prime Minister was looking at, looking at because it was discussed. I was part and parcel of discussing the policies of the party. And the role of the CEO? Um, well, CEO, Chief Executive Officer, um, responsible mainly for the management of the city. Um, if, if we look at it as, um, how would I say that, a business approach to, to council matters, the, the manager, the um, the mayor would be responsible for the oversight, the chairmanship of the board, and uh, myself ensuring that um, the, the business is run properly. So I am accountable to the mayor, or to the board rather. Yeah. So responsible for admin, responsible for the staff, responsible for ensuring that um, well, policies are drafted and approved by um, the mayor and his team. That um, that we run things that should be to ensure that the city, as you are, uh, are appreciating now, looks clean, feels clean, that our various departments are well run. It used to be the Castri City Council, and I know it gravitated, it mushroomed into the Castries Constituency. Yeah, that's not council. gravitated, it mm -hmm. was degraded. Degraded, in your opinion? It is. Okay, speak to that. <laughs> degraded. Um, Castries City Council, and you have all the other, I think it is Castries North, Castries South, yeah, Castries East, and Castries Central. Castries so, Central yeah. so the, f what, four constituencies yes. mm -hmm. have representatives on the council? Right. Yes. Right? Yes. That's how it is. That's, That's how, how it is. is. Yes. That's how it is there. So, which means, in effect, you have a situation where one cannot really say that it's a flambeau thing, is it? No. Because you have two of those seats, Cassery's South and Cassery's East, have been won by the St. Lucia Labour Party. Yeah. So, basically, the people who represent those Labour Party constituencies, they obviously try as much as possible to relate to what is taking place in the city and are able to report to their 
relevant yeah. MPs. They, yes. Mm -hmm. So is there con con continuous dialogue with, with, with those MPs as we speak? Or there are problems from time to time. I hope I'm not putting no, you on no, the spot. Really <laughs> you see, what, what I, when I look at the, the, the CCC right now, I mean, basically what they have done is a transfer like a legal government. So now you are basically is opposition and, 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 and government. So All lumped together. That is correct. Yes. So when you, we, we go at council, I mean, the guys, I'm not saying we have had that problem. I mean, but you have to be careful because obviously they look after the interests of their party. We have to look at the interests of the government. So you, 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 you get that back and forth. So that's all what they have done is to transfer parliament to, to CCC now. That's why they have degraded. CCC does not have the power it has before. Let's take for example, if the opposition had won all of the Caspi's basin seats, they still would not be able to control the, 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 the council. The government of the day will, will, will be the one with the majority of, 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 of the councillors, because, and it has gone up, they could appoint up to 15 councillors. So if they had won all four in the basin, it means that it's only four councillors they'll have out of 15. Because you could, you could, you could, but you have the, 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 the act, act up to 15 councillors. But right now what you have? We have 11. You mm -hmm. have 11 councillors? Yes. So how, how does it work out? Two, two from each constituency? How is well, it, the makeup again, as I told you, I mean, is up to the government. The opposition could only speak to, to two councillors. So... Because there are two winning MPs. Yeah. So, there's, so there's one councillor from Caspi East. Caspi South. And yes, Caspi South and Caspi East. Right. right. And then... How many the remaining nine? The other nine is, uh, is elected by the government. I see. So that's yes. nine and two. Nine and two. Okay. So okay. It, there, it, there had to be a clever person who, who designed that. <laughs> so even though you're one sitting seats and so on, the government of the day is in control. And so that is you know so that is why you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very strong supporter of local government. I mean, let people let people choose who they want to represent them. You understand? So. Another thing that, as I said, degraded the city council before could have borrowed money and do what they're supposed to be doing. Now everything has to be done through the government. So that's what I'm telling you. It's not an, that is not a, a, I mean, a, a, an upgrade. It's interesting you say that. Do you think that the time is coming when we will begin to resort, revert to what used to take place many years ago, where? The no, councillors no. were elected mm -hmm. by the people. We have to. We have to. We have to. It's the people's. That is the people's. That's the people's business. And for argument's sake, I mean, you believe if people, if um, um if councillors were elected, that for 15 years, you have not had one financial statement. You have not accounted to the people where the monies have gone through. We have not for the last for 15, 15 years. years. How is that possible? It is possible. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly it has happened. That's what we want yeah? when we, when, yes, when we came to the council. But one of the yeah. things I want to assure the citizens of, 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 of Castries wow. is that there will be financial statements in our first year. We have to account. This is what we have brought to the council, you know, accountability and transparency. We have brought, that is what we are, I'm, I'm working on. And it doesn't matter what it happens within or without the same action will be taken. So in that respect, we have now have a, a management team we have put together. We are now having a financial controller. We have a human resource individual. We have the CEO now. Okay, We have a market manager. We have a, a, a project manager and special initiatives. So all this management thing now. So you not what people have seen that have happened in the last, in the last six months, these were just. This is just the openers. The second, the batsmen had, have not started coming in. We, we have nobody. Have, they have not been able to bowl anybody else. So, especially when our first, <laughs> <laughs> our first wicket <laughs> fall, then you will see things unfolding. One year ago, where were you and what were you doing? Oh, well. Let, let let me go just a little further than one year ago. Mm -hmm. um, I actually started my career with government at the Ministry of Youth and Sports, 
where I worked for some 14 years. Um, then it was attached to community development, so I got quite a lot of community, um, working with the community experience, working in the community. From there I moved to the Ministry of the Public Service. I was called to assist with training. And um, within, within a year and a half, within two years I should say, I moved from training officer to deputy um, director for training and then to moved on to Ministry of Education as the director for human resource development and retired from at, at that level and then here I am serving as um, the CEO for Castries Constituency Council. Before, before the, 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 the stint with the public service, I also taught. I taught for eight years, five years at um, St. Mary's College and three years at the SD Academy. What, so, any specific subject? Oh, yes. Math was my... Math was your forte. My, my forte. Mm. But I also did um, what was then Principles of Business Commerce. Mm -hmm. Then it um, shifted to Principles of Business. And um, at St. Mary's College, when Brother Cyril passed away, mm -hmm. I taught for one year his subject geography. I yes. see. One year ago, where were you? What were you doing? Trying to trying to win a seat. <laughs> so you were more or less the point man for the UWP in March of two thousand and sixteen. You were the one Yes. Yeah. Did you ever imagine, Mr Mayor and Madam CEO, mm. did you ever imagine that in less than one year that you would have found yourself in the positions that you have found yourselves in? Not at all. This was the furthest thing from my mind. Um, sometimes I pause and wonder, but how did it happen? How did I get here? You know, um, but I think when one is interested in in the growth and development of one's community. Um, I think that individuals should expect anything. When I say anything, individuals are watching you, they're observing you, and um, eventually you find yourself in places you never dreamt of. And I think this is what's happening in this case. I worked with my community. I was interested in the further development. And when I say community, I'm referring to not just the the, the immediate area I came from, which is, I, I am from, which is um, the Masha community. Can any good thing come out of Masha? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but my city, Castries, and by extension, the, the, the country, St. Lucia. I, I, I love my country. I keep telling individuals that. Persons keep asking me over and over again, and Selma, why are you not with your, you know, with your family, your relatives, over in places like maybe the United States or Canada, and I keep saying no. Home is the best place for me. I love St. Lucia, and I'm going to continue to contribute to my, my island in whatever way I can. But having said all of this, this was the furthest thing from my mind, mm. serving as a, a, a councillor first at, at, at Caspers Constituency Council, and now CEO. Furthest thing from my mind. One year ago, um it was being speculated that elections would have been, we were all expecting it would have been November. So you were the candidate, the candidate um, selected by the party. And of course, I think St. Lucians are all aware of what transpired. Um, you backed off and then Sarah came on the scene and before you know it, she's the MP. But you went around Central Castries, um, obviously introducing her to some people, although she had in fact won the seat on two occasions in the past. Um, but back to the question, um, did you ever imagine that 12 months ago you would have been the mayor of Castries? Well, how, how did that happen? I don't know. I suspect there's a story there. Yeah, there's a story there, and it's a, it's a funny story. Um, first thing I would like to say is that I'm someone, as um, the, the CEO said, I love my country, and I will work my country without, without any color. Um, when I graduated to the United Workers Party, I, I, I have to make that point. I joined the United Workers Party where people would say, 
at the worst point in their history where the people say it's not a party who is the leader no, that's the time and you realize that I left a party in government so I mean I am all about work and not about myself I just stay on where I went to a place where people say I was mad <laughs> but I went and I worked now about that mayorship no that was I mean I would never have seen myself I wasn't for, for, funny enough that when the party won I actually recommended to my MP someone, right, to be the, the mayor and so on. She, had, she, she didn't have a problem and so on, but as things unfold, then they will be surprised, I mean, where that thing come from. I got a call from my brother Claudius and said, hey, you're a candidate, you have your ideas, you have the city and so on. What's the best place for you to see? What you can do is it mean a mayor. And Claudius actually called yeah, you. Too, and, and told me about it. And that's how <laughs> I am now. That's why now I am. Because I was a furthest. And when he spoke to me. <laughs> and it's said, Yeah, and he spoke to me. I say, hey, you serious sir, to do and so on. You, you don't have to be an MP, you know, to do certain changes, to see certain things are done. And then I embrace the idea. And that is, that is the, the end result of it. <laughs> Nothing from my mind as far as mayor. So... If Claudius had not intimated that, you probably would not have... No, no, that, uh, not probably. I would not have. You would not have thought of it? No. You would not even... No. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow, that's interesting. No, I don't know. I was never interested. In that. I was never interested. I'm always a, 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 a down to of man. I don't... Spotlight doesn't make anything to me. Now that you are in the position, give us a typical... What's a typical day like for you? Um, starting from early in the morning, you've had your coffee already, you've had your breakfast, if you've had time to have that, and um, you get into your car, yeah. and you drive to work. Yes. Give us a sense as to... Uh, I sometimes wonder, from the time I, um, I reach the, the yard, it starts there with about a whole lot of people there with you. <laughs> okay? I have a situation, someone sends breakfast for me, and... 95% every day is when I turn back I see there it's about and that's about 4, four o'clock in the, in the afternoon um, I was I was grateful that the CEO who had some time on, on, on her hand before would come you know and that is it but you must realize when I came in I met a, a town clerk then we had to do something with the town clerk so I had to then take on the whole administration of the, of the, of the place not only my me alone then we hired another one. Then within three months, we are back to the same position. I had to manage the whole place with the help of, at that time, yeah. the CEO was a, a council and deputy mayor. And she would come in and basically give me some support. So my, the, and the other thing is that in my own business now, I've suffered. I had to, in, is suffering. I had to hire people. And I still have to find time, not during the day, but at night. To do my own personal business, mm -hmm. so it's 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 a hectic situation for me. Sometimes I believe I'm a junior prime minister <laughs> 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 because of the number and everybody. Sometimes when people realize there's some element of seriousness and things are being done, everybody gravitates to that place. So you can mm -hmm. imagine on a daily basis what it is. The only thing that is saving me now is a little renovation that we have in now, so it's it's not that accessible to people. But it's it's a it's uh, basically an it to it job. Sometimes. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> What's yeah. your day like? Wow. Could I say? Every day is different. When, when you're dealing with almost um, 300, 300 workers. When you told me yesterday that you had 300 people employed. Approximately, I was, just a little less than that, yeah. I was shocked. Where, where are those people? Yeah, they're, 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 they're all over the constituency, working, cleaning, in comfort stations. Um, well, well, we have about 65 um, monthly paid workers. And um, the rest would be the daily paid workers, or inclusive of our sanitation, I mean, um, our contractors. We, we probably have about uh, roughly 50 individuals who are contracted on a monthly basis. 
Um, so yes, we do have about 300 individuals that we work with. 300 different characters that we face every day. So you never know what to expect. Some individuals have been frustrated over the years and we are trying to ensure that uh, they enjoy what they are doing. They are, they are, they are satisfied with the day-to-day -day activities. Um, the individuals who didn't feel that they were employed in the right place and they need a shift probably from the cemetery to the work section. So, so, so it's a lot. There are characters who just cannot get along with each other. So we need to be counselors as well as, you know, managers. And um, mm. it's interesting to ask what is the day like. As Mr. Um, Peterson was saying, whenever we enter that parking lot, that section to the back right now, we're not using the front, we're using the back. Individuals are waiting for attention. Mm. Um, and it tells me that probably they were not getting that kind of those, attention Those before. are your babies, yes. right? <laughs> they were not getting that before. You have before. to baby some of them, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> From actual job problems to mm. home problems to you name it. And um, we are trying as best as we can to ensure that um, the staff is happy. I think to a certain extent we, we are succeeding. They are telling us that they are happy about the change. They are happy that, that, that they have individuals now who are listening to them, who are identifying with their issues. Um, so if not anything else, we are making a difference to about 300 individuals in the Castries constituency. That's amazing. And um, one of the things that came up was um, or is the wage bill. And um, you quoted a figure there yesterday that, ah. that, that just threw me off. Um, half a million dollars. Yes. Annually? Annually? Yeah. Monthly. <laughs> monthly. Monthly. Always half reasonable. a million dollars Dave. monthly. Dave. Yep. My yeah. God. Dave. Speak to that. I was, I, I'm Dave. just... Dave. Number one, I don't know. I mean, I, when I came in there, I see, well, the CCC is on just an, on, is an employment agency. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we are talking about half a million dollars. We've not one qualified staff huh, to see has anything, you know, any qualifications in anything. Um, incidentally, I mean, I laugh all the time because I do some visit and go and see the staff, in it, and I visit the, the 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 cemetery. And I asked the guy, "Man, what do you do here?" And he told me, "Oh, he's mixing water." I see. At, at long last, I found a qualified person. We have a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> At the cemetery, he says mixing. He wanted to tell me mixing mortar, but he says he's mixing water. Okay. <laughs> and it is that is a killer. And basically, you have a situation where I mean, people were just placed there. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what we are we are we are now challenged with. People were placed at CCC. In other words, not you on you supporting me. Go down to CCC. And this is what happens. So we have mm. people that we have jobs that duplicated, mm. right? And basically, I mean, and we have to do something about it. Mm. I know before you try to streamline things and put things in order, we are boiling is politics and so on. I'm not worried about that. I mean, I'm not sure that my conscience is clear. I could justify what I'm doing, and that's basically what I'm doing. But it is bad. I mean, I do not have absolutely no problem. If people are there and they have work to be done, we have people right now who get an eight hours day for four hours. They have people when they when they finish working two hours. So what do they do the rest of the day? I don't, I, I I would like to give me some suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a situation we yeah. found, and people must understand what it is. We are talking about half a million dollars a month. We get a, sub a subvention of four million for government, but our wage bill is six over six million dollars. So the, the subvention, subvention we are getting to do things in the city is not even enough to pay salaries. So that's just spitting, spilling mud, in, spilling top in mud. Mm -hmm. So people, you must understand what is happening in in, in at, the, at the CCC. People were just placed there, you know, and now they want to make the new administration but we have to deal with that situation and um, we, we, we are dealing with it slowly but surely because you can't tell me a man finished work at two hours mm -hmm. yeah well some of what you've said I've heard before and I've often wondered you know how will past mayors 
able to accept that. It's yeah. it's just um, you know very 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 surprising. Um, you speak about rebranding the CCC, and it's very obvious that that is already on the way. What are some of your um, ideas? Well, I think one of the things that we are, I mean, I'm very happy that it's, 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 it's getting root is that the rebranding. As you know, you're a CDC boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a CDC boy. And you know, when we talk about Cassie's city council, the first thing in your mind is keep it, is rubbish. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is, uh, you, 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 don't, you don't know anything you else. You know, it's interesting. <laughs> I always remember just walking along High Street, mm -hmm. just, just just walking, mm -hmm. either to town or from town, and sometimes you really have to hold oh, your oh, nose. Yes, right. Yeah, yes, you know, on yes, High yes, Street. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So yeah. So basically, what we, I mean, we try to do. I mean, in the rebranding, is a look. That is a service, and not rubbish. The same way an employee goes into a bank to any other institution to perform the work, this CDC, this CDC is a noble profession too. So you must come in here with pride to do what you have to do because your, what you're doing is as extremely or even more important than someone working in the bank because if, you, if the street is littered, we have garbage around the place, they can't even go to work. You understand? So it is even more important if you look at it, look at it that way and we have tried to, to instill that in the staff. And that is now coming out, you know. So you see the guys in the room. I'm saying now, not only that you see the place is clean, but you see the place will be cleaner in time to come. But you feel it's clean. You are feeling it. You don't even have to. The blind fellas now even have to f worry about if they, 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 they're feeling it. Okay. So we did. I mean, the council we did certain things. Like for example, sake, we, we we brought a, a communication manager. I mean, people took us to task. They cannot understand that. I mean, you have a rubbish place communication manager. But now they are seeing the benefit of having the people, the information outside there, what we are doing. And now people, I mean, they, I think they follow CCC so much. That came from within the organization yeah, or without? Within. Within the organization. They, because they, basically they I had a little, Yeah, I did. I did have, I had, I did have some resistance. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, is that a full-time job? How is that going to work? But I know what I, I mean, hmm. I have a vision for the, for the council. I have, I have had it. I have had it. That is why people are looking but now seeing the council is moving too fast. People, some people actually say yeah, that. Yeah, too fast. Yes. <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> I don't have to, we don't have to think of the next step. I could tell you. I know. And I do not have it on, even have it on paper. That's where I'm moving next. And the next place we're going to make a solid dent is, uh, is, is, is uh, garbage in the in, in collection, mm -hmm. collection. Mm -hmm. there will be an absolutely new initiative to rid that place of garbage and people have to will have to understand and that has been a sore well, point at the terrible. city for at least a decade yeah. and a half or maybe even two decades yes. maybe you'll see a, mm -hmm. you'll see a significant change when that because we are now lobbying because we are dissatisfied with the, the garbage collection in the four constituencies um, I think solid waste is trying the utmost, but people always say consultation, education, consultation. I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to tell you something that happened today. Um, I live on the Mon, and um, I went and I threw some garbage in an area there. You threw it? Mm. I threw well the garbage. I, I, I. and. One of the things that struck me as I placed um, the bag in, in, the, in uh, the bin in the bin ah. is the area <laughs> around. You know, you, you, you almost get a sense that the people who are managing that area, they just, mm -hmm. um, the, the responsibility, maybe that's the mindset. That's the bin. Oh, let me, let me um, take the, the, the garbage bin. The bin. away. Mm -hmm. And um, but the entire area is Everything filthy, around, yeah. filthy. Yeah, we and know. I just stood there for a while. And says, my gosh, you could tell it was just a job. Um, um, what's lying on the ground is not my responsibility. There you yes, go. and that's, that's a fundamental problem. problem because if you are supposed to manage 
the area. You need mm -hmm. to ensure the area is clean. Then it has Take to encompass. Yes. There you go. Yes. There you go. Yeah. A lot of stuff. Yeah, um, that's what it is. You know, pieces of wood and, and, and it was and, and you're filthy. Quite, you're quite right. That's how um, the garbage is collected. Yes. The truck comes and it collects the bin and everything else is just left yeah. there. And now CCC has to deploy individuals to the point to ensure. To clean up, to mop yeah, up. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. At no cost. And then, and, and then we have individuals or contractors who are getting paid. So we are lobbying. We are lobbying. I say I use the word lobbying, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, that is what I want to do: is to take over for the the, the, the four constituencies, because we have to be, we have to be fifty percent doing what they're supposed to, to be doing, which we don't have a problem with. But I mean, at the same time, we want to get control over it. And then we have the initiative that it will be it will be done, uh, you, and you'll then see a cleaner casseries and the environs. I could assure you of that. But of course, that will call for the cooperation of the entire public. Yes, we'll be doing our part, and yes, we're hoping yes. that they too would do their part. There will be some policies. Sometimes we don't like the don'ts, but there will be some don'ts put in place, yeah. and we are hoping that um, the public will cooperate with us. It's so our country, yeah, and it's up to us to make it clean. Some of the uh, merchants are very guilty of that, particularly when they oh, do they stop have taking new, new stock? Yeah, and you know it is not uncommon to see at five six o'clock in the evening um, in front of many many shops in in the Castries Basin, you know, lots of boxes and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes what they, what, yeah, what they do Awful. is that. Some of these owners just give one of these vagrants on the yes. road a yes. two dollars, and they don't be, a two dollars, and yeah. they don't believe, they don't care where they put it. Yes, and sometimes they just shift it from one corner to the next corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this will be taken care of in due course. That is really, uh, really great news, um, and, and and it will be taken care of firmly. Yeah. Before we take our first break, there's a question. I want to revisit something you discussed regarding Claudius. Yeah. I've often found it I fascinating, yes. but, but the question is very simply, here is a, a very controversial brother of yours, in fact in all your respect. brothers, all your all brothers, they are very controversial guys, Claudius has been, has stayed on in the Labour Party, he is the chairman, yes. still is, yes. still is the chairman of the St. Lucia Labour Party, Claudius advises you or suggests mm -hmm. to you, why don't you, since you know the city, why don't you consider, consider mm -hmm. being mayor? Yes. And you accept. You think it's a wonderful idea. And today, as a result of that suggestion that he made, you are the mayor today. Try to make St. Lucians understand the relationship between Claudius, who is a rank labor boy, and you and your brother, Homer Gill, gravitated into a different color, a different party. What is the relationship like between Claudius, Homer Gill, yourself? Do you have moments of intense friction. friction and where perhaps if I was around, I'd have to give you all boxing gloves or anything like that? Or is just a... A figment of my imagination. It is. Simple. We never discuss politics. Wow. Great. How is that possible? We never because all politics. of you love politics. We never discuss politics. You all don't discuss politics no. at all? No. Amazing. We'll leave it there. Let's take our first <laughs> break. You are viewing Mr. Chairman. I'm David Samuels, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Mayor, Mayor of Castries, Mr. Peterson Francis, and his lovely CEO, Ms. Anselma Cauldron. We'll be back in a short while. Stay tuned. Hello there, welcome back. I'm David Samuels, Mr. Chairman. We will be opening the lines in about 15, 20 minutes to give you, our esteemed viewers, the opportunity to, um, you know, chat with us. Um, you may have one or two questions for the mayor and uh, his CEO. 
and I'm sure um, he is looking forward to receiving your calls and maybe your suggestions as well. Mm -hmm. You may have some concerns about the city of Castries and perhaps in the area that you live in, you may want to see certain things occur. So it'll be a good opportunity for you to interact with our guest tonight. Earlier on, you were talking about um, the staff and some of the issues, and something struck me about two or three evenings ago. I was viewing television, and there was this big story about one of your employees oh. who obviously had an issue with the council and uh, the um, union representative um, spokesperson. He was, he was agitating and almost he sounded in a sort of intimidatory fashion. He was, um, you know, saying, oh, you guys must pay the people or words to that effect. There was some sort of complex. Are you familiar with, with the story? This, this employee who had some issues, so he went to the, um, he went to the, to the union, to the union and, and um, a statement was made. It just seemed a little odd that there was not a statement from a set many people. A set and yeah. a set many people will be put out. So you are Hopefully familiar. Yes, you are familiar. You are familiar. But I didn't, I didn't see the individual, and I believe they have, they have said that it happened on two occasions where okay. he come and agitated himself. But you know, one of the problems that I have, okay. you know, as a, I mean, experience on the city, uh, qualify, you know, unionists and so on. I mean, if there is an issue or uh, something is wrong in the process that have been implemented, but you're unionist. You don't have to come on television to burst a blood vessel, <laughs> <laughs> to, you know, to get that thing rectified. But you know, you know the law, you know the, the procedures, and you know how you're not a layman. So, and you know, you've you've struck a very interesting point here, and it is something which I think I've highlighted before. It's it seems to be the norm. People run to the press, and I believe. I mean, as a as a press person myself, I I understand what is going on, but you would think that any intelligent, rational person, before going to the press, let me pick up the phone and arrange to have a meeting with the mayor and let us see how we can work around a particular problem. But for some reason, um, they go to the press. I like the way you put it, bus, uh, vessel. vessel. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's something that we need to consider. To me, the press is, should be the last resort. Try to work things out in an amicable way. Yeah, but, you, but we yeah. run to the press. I, you, I, I you're always in the best position that know the procedure. Probably, mm. have, probably we have lapsed. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the procedure. You believe that you're an expert. Come do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. Our people seem to love the press. And it's not bad. <sighs> but like you said, the first thing we should be doing is speaking with the individuals who could make the change. And then we go to the individuals. And sometimes, you see, the press maliciously, if I could say that, ah, press they, people, they, 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 they probe, they probe, and they, and they, and, yeah, yeah, and they, they select what to highlight they, in a story. Mm -hmm. but, but the, most, and, you know, <laughs> the most fundamental <laughs> thing about these things is that, you see, the things that they are now agitating about are things that they encourage to happen. So when you have about these workers and the old, I mean, that is why they are vexed. They are, not, they are not vexed about the issue, you know. They are vexed about their people. But they're not to be vexed about what the people have done and what they are doing. It's, a, it's just about that, you know, that you have, you have, you have dealt with one of our people. I see. I see. So that's what it's really all about. But I've always if somebody advocated... somebody your child, you don't know why you'd be agitated, especially in the mud. They do not. So that is what is happening. It's not a matter of representation. It's that you have interfered with one of the children. Mm. On the question of Discord, speak to the vendors issue. I know that there will be <clears throat> some changes down the road with vending in, in castries and environs. And um, there has been quite a lot of discourse about um, one of the um, vending um, personnel mm -hmm. um, and in Ras Ipa. Um, what is really going on? What is the story um, first? And then speak to us about vending in the city. Um, what is being um, looked upon 
in the coming coming months. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing you made about Russia, but Russia is not an issue. My focus is what have, is what is right, and to manage what is underneath my control. And if you do not do what you have to do, it doesn't matter you are ras. I'm not going to use the other one. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, okay? But if you have some individual who have gotten away in the past by talking their way, by lying, by not giving the facts, okay? So we have an issue of electricity. It doesn't matter who it is. Mm -hmm. We will take it, and you'll have more, more of that coming up. I mean, let's say for argument, for argument sake, maybe that's been happening for a while. But we had an issue right now with some a staff taking a skull from the cemetery. Now before maybe that was the norm. A skull. Yes. Mm -hmm. A skull. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Now probably that a was a staff taking a skull from the cemetery. My my my. Now probably that was something of the uh, that what's, was a, what's, a norm. What nobody the staff looks at. A skull? Well, I don't know. But my that's not an issue. Gosh, this is. But the matter has been investigated. The matter, and I mean. Then they will have, have been arrested. Because I mean, we, we are not there to perpetuate wrong things. We are there to put things in perspective. So, what it will happen within, we'll take the same action with, from, if we don't. So, but that but is a serious thing. So, when the issue <coughs> of the arcade, you understand? The people in the arcade must understand they, are, they have been very, very, very lucky people. You have prime property. You're looking at $120 a month. You understand? So they have been very lucky. You expect to go and you want to use the facility, use the electricity, and nobody could tell you anything. Nobody could do anything. But we had a situation, we were renovating the shelves, I mean the, the, the counters for the, for the people in the arcade. And he had an issue with that. Two weeks before, you were, you know, you were agitating for that. He had an issue with that. Assaulted one of the contractors working for us. The matter was taken to court. On the second occasion when the matter came up, he and his lawyer asked for mediation. Okay? The marriage said, okay, let it go to mission. He went to mission. He apologized to the guy. It went back to mission and the, that, the matter was finished there. But he has the, 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 the audacity to say, well, the matter was dismissed. I mean, we have the records are there. So I mean, I'm not I'm not going to allow that to distract me. That is a, that's a minor issue. But we have the work of the council to, to think. I am not. If you realize, Dave, that when I came into the council, do you hear that I ever say that I'm I'm investigating corruption? No. Where is that taking you? You waste five years and then you know the people. What what have you done? To investigate people just five years. I mean, the people choose if something comes out glaringly, then we'll take action about it. But what am I going to investigate to find that if something was done that the people spend their money how they see it, it's to them. We are now putting the people's money into good use, hmm. and that's basically what it is. I'm not going to waste my time to go and investigate what, looking for who. You know, and this is basically what is happening. So we are focusing going forward. But as I did something, and then I step over that, I, mean, I realize that's a pen. I have to say that's a pen. And that's basically what it is. So that's a minor issue. And so we are looking at the, at the bigger issue. But that doesn't mean that we'll condone tra transgression. And he must understand that. You can say, what you want about me? You see, mayor means nothing to me. As I've told people before, you know me. Because probably out of a hundred, you know, 95 things that is not good about Peterson Francis. But you know me. You don't know me because I'm mayor. I mean, Dave doesn't know Peterson Francis because he's mayor. True. So I'm not going to do anything to do as if I want to make sure I stay there as mayor. Because, you know, it makes people know me. No. You're just passing through. That is correct. Just passing through. That Get the correct. job done. That's and right. move on and to your next goal. That is correct. But to be fair though... Um, the, the vendors, especially mm -hmm. in that area, they've had some really rough time, um, especially during rainfall yeah, and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. all those issues. We are working with them. I mean. mm -hmm. they've, had, they've had some tough times. In fact, from day one when we came, that was our first stop. Yes, sir. sir. 
We went into the market to check things out okay. because there were so many complaints. Rain wetting their stuff, sun shining too heavy on their stuff. It's, it's a lot. And um, what we realized is just a few simple things that would, you know, Had if they were done. adjusted, mm -hmm. if they were done, that take care of this and the, the folks were happy again. Mm -hmm. And um, we know that there's still quite a lot that we need to, to, to look at, a lot of little things mm -hmm. we need to put in place. But um, the folks were having a, 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 a tough time there. Yeah. The, the midsection of the, of the roof, that was bad, and allowing the water to slip right through. The drainage was not, was not what it should have been. So the water accumulated during rainy times. The, 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 the counters were too might eaten. So all of these things we were taken care of. That is why I'm not too sure what was wrong with um, the gentleman Ipa when we began to put all those things in place. He should have been happy. We are taking care of yes. the individuals that he's supposed to be managing. And um, instead he was just, I don't know, he was just... Um, in, 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 in an uproar and, and, and very antagonistic. Yeah, and but they, I mean, seem not to have appreciated what was happening. Yeah, to, to add to what the, 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 the CEO is saying. I mean, how many vendors have you seen on the road complaining? How many vendors? What, what are these, have you seen the vendors out there and saying, well, look, no, nothing is happening, what is going on? What is, we were renovating the, 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 the arcade. We have not raised the rent. We have not clamor about a raise, and if you don't pay, we're not fixing. We are just go, we're going about and do what we have to do. We have now employed a, ma a market manager, so that that relationship is there. He, she's on the spot. So I mean, we know now what is happening. What is the complaints going to be? We have a, we, we we are putting everything in place to make everybody happy. Vending in the city, outside of the um, the vending area, the Casseries Market, the vendors area. Yes. What about the city? Yeah, we have we have we have a plan for Miku Street. Yes, we have a plan for that, uh, which is we'll encompass taking everybody from the road. And when we take everybody on the road, where are you going to put them? We have a plan for that. Yeah. You're not going to tell me. And it's going to happen. Yes, it's going to happen. Yeah. We we have the plans in that. You yes. will move them to a better one location? or two yes. streets. No, not on the street. We de we're definitely going to avoid the streets. I think the streets must be free for visitors and, and locals alike. Our streets are supposed to be free. It's also going to help with the security of the of the of the, of the, of the city. city. Okay, is right. So, but do 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 you anticipate any opposition to that? Everything it is a vend a vendor who has been, you know selling on the city streets for 10 years, 15 years, they've got used to it, it's become like their little workstation as it were, um, all of a sudden you, you have to confine them to a new area, there will be some opposition. Well, it's anything, even the things that's good for yourself, you oppose it, you know. And, you know, <laughs> well, probably, I mean, as you see in that, I mean, when I see that, you know, things are good for yourself. Um, sometimes we don't realize the benefit of certain things until it happens, and sometimes you are forced to do it. Mm. It's just like my example that I—I I mean, I never had to—I never had a, in my slightest idea that I've been mayor today. Mm -hmm. You understand? But what people do not understand, let's say, for instance, the guys selling the fish on, on, the, on the road, but they believe that's that the was only quite way. a story. You know? Yes, that they only believe I that. Found it very, very. They, only, they, 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 they believed over the years that's the only way they could survive to be in front. Okay. They are now gone to, to where they're supposed to sell the fish. Have you heard any complaint? Have you heard anybody on television saying that we are not selling? Probably they're selling more. They said that they didn't have lighting. We have put lighting for them. You know? Mm -hmm. So we, 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 are, we are thinking, but the same time we're trying to show them, it's not because you and Jeremy City will sell more fish. But right, I have not heard one fish on come on television, call the press and say, no, not we are here now. Fish, yeah. we, not sell, we don't sell anything. Mm -hmm. Obviously, things probably have, 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 have gone better because more people go to one location and do what they have to do. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do, I mean, as far as the, the, the offenders are concerned, put one. So, when St. Lucian visitors go to the market, they go to the market. You know, they go to a, a, an area to see where, and you, that's where you have it. Yeah. That's where you need. So, there are sometimes you might be struggling. Sometimes you realize that every year I'm making $20, and they are satisfied because they've adjusted their life to $20. But you'll find a new location, a new thing where you have more people. That leads me to another point. Um, in specific areas, there are some JPs who are conducting work. Um, 
How is that going basis, to? Yeah. What are you? What, okay. what are you saying? Uh, are I'm they, just trying. Are you saying? <laughs> are they paying? Are they I'm doing? just. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I. I mean, we, clearly, we, it's a source of income for them, obviously, and um, a lot of businesses being contracted along that street. Is it Library Street or Mondrian um, Street? Library Street. Library Street. Right. Library Street. A lot yeah. of them just outside of um, the. How will that issue to the judiciary? To do the judiciary. We, we, we are dealing it for everything in strides. We do not want to. In fact, we are trying because individuals are saying we are doing too much too quickly. But um, how can individuals say? Uh, well, they are saying it. Hey, you are pushing too much too quickly. We people we are cannot handle say this. Yes. Yeah, the change is too much. You know. Um, so the, the 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 question that you just asked, we have thought about it, but we we we, we are going to be handling it and handling it cautiously, like you said. The, the things that we should allow other individuals to assist us in doing and doing well. So you're going to be hearing about it at, a, at, at, at another city. Okay. Let's open the lines. Let's open the lines and give our viewers an opportunity to interact with us. The telephone numbers are on the screen 451 9349. 451 9349. 453 173 not. And by the way, we are streaming live internationally at www.stluciafirststluciafirst.com. We look forward to hearing, your to hearing from you. And if you've got any suggestions or criticisms um, for the mayor and his office, please don't hesitate to call us and let us know. 451-9349. Four five three one seven three not Castries. Thank you so much for calling. You're on the air. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. Good evening to your guests. Mm. I'm mm -hmm. happy to hear that the issue of garbage collection will be addressed, and I am hoping that the issue of derelict vehicles will mm. also be addressed. Yes. yes. Because that too is garbage. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Interesting. It's an interesting point. It, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, that's we, are, we are working on Yes, it's an interesting point. You, yes, you, yes. you do see some of them on some city streets, yes, you know, yes, yes. Um, uh, abandoned years ago, still lying there. 452-451-9349-453-173-NOT. Four, 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 another caller from Castries. Hi, Castries. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good Hi. evening to your guests as well. Mm. I'm just calling regarding the stray dog situation in Castro Central. Um, I mean, I'm a resident there, and it is a situation that we have been trying to address within our community. Um, I live at New Village, and, um, I mean, we have stray dogs on the road at night, and it's unbearable. I know we want to curb the, the, um, the situation with the garbage and remove the bins in those areas as well. But what are we going to do about the stray dog situation within our city capital? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, good question. Well, uh, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, as a matter of fact, we have started um, looking at this, and um, we are not doing it alone. We have involved even the association that's so concerned about animals and animal rights, um, that's LASP. We, we have involved them, but um, we have an individual who assists in us in ensuring that it is done well. Um, the plan is to get them out of the city. We were having a little challenge here because um, the animal lovers, we would not want to hurt them. We would not want to do anything that would affect our tourist industry because we know that there are some individuals who love animals so much that if we do anything out of the way, um, they may decide not to come back to St. Lucia. So whatever we are doing, <laughs> we want to ensure that we are doing it right. But, um, yeah, the, the, it, it's a sore point, and, and, and we, 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 we are working on it. Mm. Yeah. Very good, very good. And uh, as a matter of fact, if, if the individual should check, they would notice that um, the number of street mm. dogs in the streets have diminished to a great extent. Maybe not in her area just yet, but the number of street dogs have diminished. There used to be a lot of street dogs in Castries. Um, there are still some, yes. but it's not as bad as it's it not used as bad. to be. It's, yeah. not as bad. it's not as bad as it mm. used to be at yeah. all. Um, what about the city police? What could you tell us about? It's by the way, it's one of the one of the developments that you've been given a lot of credit for, and um, as a matter of fact, it's raised some concern. Some I hear people saying now, 
oh, the city police are on the beat, but you're not seeing the regular police anymore. <laughs> um, explain, explain the correlation between the city constabulary and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. What is the relationship like? And we, um, as I said, I mean, in August when I was installed, I said, look, I mean, the security of the city is, 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 a, is a business of the, the CCC. And I said that, you know, we're going to get that city policed. And you realize the city police now is in black and white and so on. But things went, went ahead of us in Argument second in around November, December, we know all this snatching and this thing. So we had to advance bring out the city police. Could you hold that thought? Yes. This one yeah. I don't give. Hi, Anthropo. Nice to hear from you, Anthropo. Hi. Um, Cash Mr. Resist. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Chairman. Yes. And your guesses. Yeah. Guess. <laughs> no, you have two of them. Yes. Well, yes. guess. Guess. Guesses. Guess. No, no, not guesses. Guess. Guess, guess. guess. okay. Yeah. Um, actually, I called to share a concern. Sure. Um, especially, especially some activity that taking place on Jeremy Street. Um, we're looking at J Jeremy Street from the traffic light by the Cassius Market to the Credit Union of the top, don't it? Let me hear okay. that again. Sure, sure, sure. Um, we're looking at um, the Jeremy Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, by the Cassius Market. Yes. We're all the way up to the Credit Union. Oh, see, see. Sure, sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. We have we have some food vendors. Uh, just remember, we have a traffic light on that road, that mm -hmm. stretch of road, and we have food vendors that are selling food on the road. On the road itself, everybody's seen it, mm -hmm. and it's a nightmare on that stretch of road, and it's just waiting for some kind of disaster, some kind of accident to happen there. When you go higher up towards the taxi stand, they have some people that selling shoes, selling everything, uh, you know, and people cannot walk, and, and then people have some kind of, of alcohol, beverage drinking, and it's really a, a nightmare, a chaos thing there around that stretch of road. What uh, what the city council do? They have any plan to rectify that problem? I will listen to you off there. Yeah, yeah. thank you very thank much. You. Yes, yeah. um, the two situa situation you have spoken about, I know, I know it firsthand. By the CSE, I mean I've noticed it, and uh, we're going to do something about it. Is that we, you actually have the people putting the grill on the road? Mm -hmm. The grill is actually on the road. Mm. I've seen that on many occasions. Right. This is one of the things that we are going to do. Um, I, the other thing about the shoes, I mean, not only that it is a thing, it is about, it is, it's, a, it's a CDC by itself on the side road. I mean, it is so tall. That's another, that's another extension to the CDC. That we are going to also <laughs> rectify it too. But I know about the two situations and it's of concern to me and I know about it. But again, as we said, we are just giving and trying to educate people that because while you realize the concern, I agree with the concern, when you do something about it, then that is another concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marsha, good evening, Marsha. It's, it's nice to hear from East Cass Street. Uh, Hi. Mr. Chairman, I just want to put some um, rubbish truck in the morning when children go into school, traffic running uh, on the road at 7.30 to quarter to 8. And <coughs> children walking all the street, the crops smelling, mm -hmm. and the, you know, I think them people can do that around six forty, around that time. It's not 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 a nice thing to do that on on school children traffic. You no know, tra in the morning in March and have a lot of traffic in the city. Yeah. Well, so the, the 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 rubbish trucks are. Yes, you okay. know, the, you know, especially yeah. well, uh, we are, both of us are from that area. Yeah. And especially when I'm coming down to work, um, you get that, that situation and sometimes you have to stop for a while for them to do what they have to do and so on. But I could assure you, Carla, that a change is coming and that will be something of the past. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Right. And, and you mentioned 6.30. I think 6.30 is still too late. Um, by 5 o'clock, 5.30, a garbage truck should be on their way to get the garbage out and free up the streets. 
You know, as you mentioned that, it has um, it brought something to mind. About the bill? Uh, about, no, the garbage trucks. Um, it, I have never quite understood why the garbage trucks, sometime around 6 o'clock, 6.30, 7 o'clock in the evening, they are collecting garbage in the city, mm -hmm. right? And the guys, I don't know, maybe they, 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 they want to take it out on, um, on motorists. The garbage truck is in the middle of the road. So and there's this queue. Everyone yes. is just, they're yes. waiting. And we have to wait for the guys. And they're taking their cool time. They're going on this. <laughs> and, just, <laughs> and some of the driver, too, too, you too. Yes. The guy's not taking you on. Yeah. It's as if they're saying, we're in charge now. This is, this is. This is ours. It's our time. <laughs> it is something, I've mentioned this because it is something that you have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. It's really a lot of unnecessary stress on the motoring public. I see no reason why the garbage trucks cannot park on the side of the road if it's possible. So at least traffic flows. Mm -hmm. But yeah. sometimes you almost get a sense it's a deliberate strategy on their part. To frustrate motorists. Yeah, but you know, as you said, the last caller was, is correct. I mean, you don't have to start. I don't even believe you have to start at 5 o'clock in, in the morning. Mm -hmm. You see, whenever the traffic, people have, is at work, people have dropped the children to school. Mm -hmm. If you go up about 9, after 9, you see the road is clear, you know? That's right. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. You know, they're yeah, clear. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that could be done. Yeah, like that, that, but they want to do it when at the peak of traffic. But again, I do not know on what basis. I'm not trying to bash solid waste. Mm -hmm. But I don't know on what basis that was what that solid waste was created. What is what it is, because then you have people contractors. You do not you do not monitor the the, the, the solid waste have no monitoring thing to monitor people. Is when they get a complaint they look into it. They don't monitor these contractors as to what they do, how they do it, and and so on. So I wonder why solid waste in the first place was created. I don't know, but sometimes I have a, I have a vision. I about recall it, so. um. um when I was doing um, a program on Radio St. Lucia, I remember Solid Waste Management, they were a part sponsor of that program, The Agenda. And I sort of, I sort of flashed back. I remember that was a recurring concern. Yeah. People would call and say about garbage collection. Has always been an issue, mm -hmm. and um, it seems like not much progress has been made. Let's go back to Castries. Good evening, Castries. Yes, good evening, gender people. Hi. <laughs> Um, I want to find out what's going to happen with this activity on a Friday night on Jeremy Street there. This thing is almost like a time bomb waiting to explode. Mm. Um, just after you leave the bakery there, and, the, and it's not properly lit. Anything can happen there. That place is not properly lit at all. It's virtually dark. What is that? And you're passing on a Friday night, you're passing your vehicles, and people don't want to give the vehicles room. Some of them, if you think, they even hit the vehicles and all kind of thing like that. Do you think the road should be closed? I don't know. I don't know. Something needs to be done. I understand there. it's quite. Um, I I have passed there sometimes, and it's always very crowded. It yeah. seems to be quite this a thing, hub of activity. This, yeah, this thing borders on on civilization. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, any and everything can happen there. Yeah. I saw the mayor, but the mayor is always around there. He, he sees it. I hope you're not accusing me of being part of it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just joking. <laughs> so uh, I think that made some serious attention. Yes, you, you're, you're right, caller. And basically, what um, one okay, of the, 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 the initiative we are taking now, Cassius is too dark. I mean, especially with the, the lighting we have now. So we are, we are, we are working with Blue Select now to, to look at these things now because we have to have that place bright. We have to take a, 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 a decision as to, as the chairman was saying, do we close? Um, let's say for argument's sake, I mean, I have serious concern with, with the, the flea market being on, on Jeremy Street, but that's what the people want. They do not see the danger, they do not see when, because I always, in another program I said, St. Lucia has the most fortune tellers. But the only time they work <laughs> is when the thing happens. They can't tell you when it's going to happen. <laughs> you understand? So, we have to consider, are we going to close, I mean, Jeremy Street on a Friday night? Although we have plans to create some activity on a, a, public, on a Saturday public, do we transfer it from Saturday to Sunday where we've been the, 
the vendors to be a vendor tonight, what we have in the Grizzly, what we have in Denry, what we have in Ancillary. Because at the same time, while yes, what is happening might be unruly for the time being, or uncontrolled, but we have to bring some life back to the city. Yeah. We must. Yeah. Before we take our second and final break, you were talking about the city police. We got interrupted because of the calls that mm -hmm. came in. We're talking about the police, city police, and some. Yes, some uh, well, with the, with the police, I mean, we have yeah. a good rapport with the police. And we try to yeah. work at all times. Uh, we are not trying to upsurge uh, the, the police. The police. We work very closely with them. But the point I, I've, I've always made from, the, from August of last year, that the CCC, the responsibility of the security of the city is the CCC's responsibility. Yeah. The police will compliment us and not the other way wrong. So I don't want people to feel that because we are wrong that the police are basically abandoned ship. Yeah. That is not the case. The other thing is that you must realize that the police has a lot of functions. Immigration is a police. Mm -hmm. You have the judiciary, it's police have to, to guard and do what, mm -hmm. drive and guard mm -hmm. and all these things. They have a lot on the police and they are operating with limited resources as ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now, as I say limited resources, I mean, people might be seeing things happening at CCC and believe that we have gotten some new set of funding or the money is coming, you know, the, the money is only coming from within CCC because we... Hold that thought. Hello, Cassaries. I know you've been holding on for a while. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. You're yes, on the air. Um, just another point. Um, I was looking at this place, this area there by the pump. In front of the market, there were the guys of the vendors, okay. Where were the guys of food, fish, and tell us to do the mess there. Mm -hmm. I think you all remember Rick wrote about that yes. a time ago. Yes. Um, take from by the pump going towards the where, where there's a figure there, 48 years of independence written there. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a nice platform can be set into the water there, push it back about 10 feet into the water. Mm -hmm. And have some kind of nice plaza, something there. Yes, Colonel. Tell me, Mr. Mayor. You, yes, you um, we could look. Um, we have a. It, what you're saying is, it not only sounds good, mm -hmm. but it's possible. But we have some. We have a little limitation. Of, um, the CC. We have a little because the government is working on what we call a master plan. So we have okay. to await. Okay. We have to await the outcome of to that. See how that, to that see how that right. fits in. That's how that's, exactly. Okay. But that's, right. a, that's a brilliant idea. Thanks. Good. How many um, city police do you have right now? We're in the forties. As many as yeah, that. It's about and, thirty-three. Yeah. And they yeah. work around yeah. the clock. And we are the only we are the only people that that providing twenty-four hour service. Whoa. So a lot of people do not know that. Um, we are providing. I was just saying about people maybe saying where, where do we get the funds? I mean, the government is trapped with, for money. We mm. know that. Uh, we, so we are not trying to make it uh, harder for them. Mm. All what we are doing is within the money is coming within. The wastage, um, for argument's sake, let me tell you, we had about 72 fellas working for 40, about $33,000 a fortnight. 72? Supposed fellas. Supposed. And we are talking about 16 hours, not even a day, uh, and drawing $33,000 a fortnight. Oh my gosh. 16 hours. Hold that thought. Hi, Castries, new Castries caller. Good evening. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I have a problem with the vagrants in the city. I thought it was with me. With the ladies washing all the clothes, sitting by the roadside, the yeah. fellas walking the streets smelling. You cannot breathe properly. Yes. The vagrants, we have a problem with that. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And the, and the question of the vagrants, I mean, is that a question? We know it's a problem. But first, we have to make sure that we have somewhere and some a reasonable place to put them. We can't just take them and put them in some public, like is in uh, some place in jail. We can't do that. We have to be humane. So these things we're working, streets. right? We and one of the initiatives that will be coming soon is that we are we are partnering with the with the, with the Rotary. Mm -hmm. There'll be a soup kitchen in the in the gardens where you find on a daily basis they'll be fed. They'll be They'll be clothed, they'll be bathed, they'll be medical, we'll be able to, and we're even trying to rehab. Because we have some guys on, 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 the, on the street that's more, I'm not going to consider myself a brilliant person, but they are more brilliant than me. But they need that chance. So all these are, we, these are the initiatives that we, we have coming to the fore. So just give us, a, I mean, some people are saying we are moving too fast. Some people are saying we are yeah. not moving fast enough. So probably might have to go on top gear. 
<laughs> Let's take our second and final oh, break, uh, and we'll, we'll be. Okay. Oh, we have another caller. Okay, Castries, you're on the air. The problem, the problem, the problem I really have in Castries. All the dogs. Hello. Hello. All the dogs are in Castries. Sometimes I like to try in the out of tongue. Somebody has just mentioned. Somebody mentioned about the dogs already. Yeah. He probably just okay. tuned in. A lot of three dogs. I remember a couple of years ago, it was just about guy that was with us and collect the dog. You mean Norman? Yes. So, I would like them to meet up. No, we, we, we are working on it. We have sat, taken out some of the dogs already. Okay, thank you very Good. much. Right. Thank you. Let's take our second and final break and we'll be back um, with maybe a few more of your calls. And um, there's so much more I want to ask you. I'm not even halfway there yet, but um, let's take our second and final break. We'll be back momentarily. Hello there, welcome back. I'm David Samuels, Mr. Chairman, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Peterson Francis, the Mayor of Castries, and his CEO, Ms. Anselma Cauldron, and we're talking about the Castries Constituencies Council. I just want to take the opportunity to thank all those of you who have called, many, many interesting callers indeed. And I just basically wanted to make a point that next week, Thursday, I will be having a couple of reps from the St. Lucia National Trust, and we will be talking about the hmm. dolphin controversy as well as the Maria Island controversy. So next week promises to be very, very interesting. I thought I should mention it now, so at least you sort of mark it down somewhere. It ought to be very, very interesting indeed. You were talking about the 72... Yes. Um, yes, they were talking about the 72. I mean, we had 17 individuals, as I said, drawing about $33,000 a fortnight of 16 hours <laughs> okay and when we investigate and realize that the most we can have working on any one weekend is 13 and they had and 72 <laughs> and then we oh. have weekends we have only eight because we have the the weed which you don't have to do every week mm -hmm. so the maximum is 13 and we are still looking for the rest and we have all institutions we have we have not located them but that alone i'm saying on that transaction alone the CCC is, is saving about fifty two thousand dollars a month. Wow. On that alone. Yes. Fifty two thousand dollars monthly saving. The other the other situation we we, 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 we we came across is this like on the square. We had like we had three these activities. The labor before for electrical work. New Year's. New Year's New and Year's. these things. We are looking about the sixty the sixty and the seventy and the eighty thousand dollars. Just over the three days, electrical No, well, some people took about two days, I mean, oh. and this year we had three, mm -hmm. so you could imagine what it would have been. But we were able to do that, from that 70, 60, and 80, we were able to do the square electrical labor for $8,500. And it used to be? The 60s and 70s <laughs> and 80s, it's up to it. Wow. Some, you understand? So this is a, the level of, I mean... While we have to save, we have to, I mean, for instance, you have a loss on the square because I myself was under the belief that, the square, that the square was, is a, is was a, an a income, money, a, yeah. a, a income generating. generating. Yeah. Mm. Only to find out, no, it wasn't, it is not. And then you have the losses of the 300 or $400,000 that would be in, everybody have the share. But we were able to do it this time around but at a loss of $131,000. So everything we are doing is to saving and blocking the holes mm -hmm. and using this money to see what people are seeing. We have not gotten any new money from any source, far less from the government. So that introduces revenue streams. You, you obviously need to start thinking about generating additional income. Yes. Quite apart from the house taxes, which mm -hmm. I suspect that you probably can do very well in that area, mm -hmm. um, because it was sort of comatose what was happening there. The monies right. were not being collected. Yes, that yes, yes, yes. So that's that's a that's a good revenue stream. Um, what else? Um, parking meters. Parking meters, right? 
-hmm. Yeah, again, Dave, I mean, that comes down on what you're saying about tightening up. <clears throat> um, and the, the staff were not being allowed to do what they were, especially the administrative staff, were not being allowed to do what they, they employed to do. Um, you know, right now, I mean, they have, I mean, we had the sole responsibility of collecting house tax, but that was changed from the last government, and we can collect, and Inland Avenue can collect. So as a result, that at CCC was not looking at that. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report that, you know, for the new structure, what you mean, that the staff was been one week was able to collect $1.8 million. In one week? week? Yes. Your mm -hmm. staff was able to collect $1.8 million in house taxes? $1.8 million. That is amazing. Okay. So that's the course we are on. And I, mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, And I must compliment the staff. I mean, they have understood what is happening, they have, they have integrated into it, and we are working as a team. What about um, Derek Walker Square? I don't see anything wrong, in principle, with people having monthly paid parking. I, I don't really have a problem with that so much. But there are some people, when they're out of state... Um, sometimes the the parking spots are not being utilized, and is it the plan of the city council to have metered parking around there as well? No, well, I mean, or you 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 sort of tied it to your yeah, we have tied it. Um, I mean, if the person has their pa their parking spot, and then they're going to be out for let's say argument a month for whatever it is. Are you generally happy that that's generating enough income? For well, no, we council? have to look at that. And no, I think with the, with the with the parking meters to be introduced, mm -hmm. it's terminals. Um, oh, the terminal, the terminal. Sorry, because um, yeah. Give us. We, 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 we need to say terminals. Hang on, hang on. Meters, yes. I want you to explain that. Let's the go to Casseries. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Casseries, hi, Casseries. Thank you. Hi. Good evening, gentlemen. Hi. Of course. Good evening. And of course, good evening to uh, Selma. Yeah, good evening. <laughs> it's nice to know that you 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 actually continue the the, the the good work, right? <laughs> Thank you. I guess you you make out of the the, the voice. <laughs> Not um, quite, but as you as I, you go on, I'll make out the voice. The mobile. The mobile. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, Mister the mobile. Yeah, we work together um, in youth and sports. Yeah. My worship, a lordship, right? I remember the, I did an interview with if if um Jason Hollis did, and he mentioned sometime back that was in sometime in early January. That um, you were hoping to have another complement another 30 plus city officers, and of course equipment in terms of firearms and and, and mm. batons and so on, and of course a change of uniform. How soon one will see? Because knowing full well that you're in charge of the city, how soon one will see that happening or taking place? But I just want to compliment you all for such a wonderful job that you're doing. Okay. And I have, uh, uh, I can now raise my, my head above the water and walk in castries compared to the last few years because of all the nonsense that was actually happening. You can walk in castries now compared to, you know, what I'm yeah. saying. And but I'm really happy that you're actually taking care of the, the unfilthy animals, you know, mm -hmm. within, especially around the marketplace where people go and buy the food and stuff like that. Right, right. But right. let's keep it going. Thank well you. Done. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you for the compliment. Right. Yeah. Um, in terms of our city police, um, well, not many people like the black and white they're wearing. I need, I need to say that up front, but it's, it's training uniform. They're, they're, they're doing what we call the swimming by drowning um, process now. Uh, they will be going into focused training as of um, next week. He spoke about the use of ammunition, wearing of the uniform and, you know, the, the baton and so on. We will not give them all of these except they're, until they're trained to use um, those those items, those accessories. Um, so the, the the training is going um, full swing by by next week. We have some individuals that we have brought in, and hopefully by the month of the, by the first of June, hopefully, if everything goes well, our now black and white police officers, those in black and white, will be in in full uniforms, looking good. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, we'll let you know a little more about it. They will be wearing all of the accessories that he's talking about. What? And um, they'll be ready for, really for the battle. Yeah, for the battle. <laughs> hi, Castries. Oh, Castries and Cicero. Hi, Castries first. Castries, yes, hi. Sir. Good evening. Just a quick question. Sure. Are we, are we, hello? Go yes, right sir. ahead. Are we satisfied um, with the ambience of the Derek Walk Square, knowing that we have two Nobel laureates bus inside there? Are we satisfied with that? 
Well, they're not, they're not the in there. It's there. No, no, no. Um, I'm just asking as a nation, as a nation, as a nation. Are we satisfied with that? But, but what, is, what, is the prim- what is the question? I mean, I'm not sure what... what it, is needs, it needs a facelift for a place called, um, named after Nobel Laureate. Right. The place, the lighting is poor. Oh, I yes. see. Okay, the, the now whole I understand. The ambience of the place is... I understand the question now. I wasn't if sure. I, if I was to tell someone, if I was to tell a stranger, this is named after Derek Walker, mm-hmm. I mean, they would say, what? This is, this is this is supposed to be something looking better than that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. No, I you're find absolutely you're right. You're absolutely correct. Right. What, what are the plans? What are the plans? Okay. Yes, we are, we are going to upgrade it, especially the lighting. I, I mean, the lighting out there. I mean, I'm, I'm aware of it. So we are going to. Um, you see, what is happening to Saint Lucia now is that, as I said, the pace that we are going, that they want everything one time. One time. Yeah. But, but to be fair, fair. I, yes, find, I, agree I find Derek Walker Square always we looks dark, that. especially yes. on yeah, evenings. Yeah, dark, yeah, but you're taking dark, dark. dark. We have, we have taken that into know, consideration. It's, it's, uh, mm-hmm. it's yes, the lighting in the <laughs> city generally. Derek Walker, you know, yes. our Nobel laureate. Yeah. Yeah. Cicero, good evening, Cicero. Our oh, first caller from South Castries. Hello? Cicero, are you there? Cicero? No? Okay. Um... Gone. All right. We yeah, were we, talking we were about, about the lighting in the city. Yes, we have no overall, temperature. overall, overall. We have no. And yeah. um, there was we, something else we were talking about. You know. Ambience at Derek Walker Square. No, before that. Yeah, the terminals. Come. The terminals. Come. You're talking about the, the right. Uh, the, the difference. The, oh the yeah, terminals between the terminals and, and the right, right, yes. right. Um, yeah, and, and the mayor quickly corrected or reminded me it's terminals and right. not just parking meters. Right. Because the concept so, in the heads of individuals or the minds of individuals is that we will be having the single. So what is wrong with using the same system in the area where you have parking for businessmen and so on in the city? What is wrong with that? Well, you know, I mean, we we have a certain category of people. I but mean, I understand that they're paying next to nothing money. Yeah, but you're not generating. Understand. You're not Much I mean compared, but all these things have been looked. Would into. you would you obviously consider increasing those? The other um, thing right now substantially. We, we, no, well we are not really. We yeah, I mean uh, those substantially. Those it, it, those it's actually, those it's, been, a, it's been a giveaway. It's been a giveaway. But actually, another thing, there's some issues. Seem like a giveaway because yeah. the, no, the, no. The, the, the the rate is not going to be a killer rate. Yeah. Yeah. However, <laughs> the way it will be structured, the other we will thing be is, making Dave, is that some, yeah. the, the people have themselves they have issues because even when they come, most of the time they can't even use the spot. Because Somebody people just else. the spa. But don't you but have we um, have your this, own, we your are, own we already have we already have these clumps. They're already in my office. I mean the AG is now working on the legislation. Oh boy. To admit to, 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 to So I have to be careful if I steal yes. a little time there. Yes. Yeah, 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 Lapanse, yeah, yeah. good evening, <laughs> Lapanse. Thanks for Hi, calling. Um I would like to co- compliment Mr. Francis and his team on all the hard work and effort they have placed into redeveloping our city. And um, with time, I believe you're going to find suitable solutions to to fix our city. Um, one one area that I would like you to, to place more emphasis mm-hmm. on when you're finding solutions to fix in our city mm-hmm. is this area um, next to the Mondido bus stop with um, those individuals lollygagging. Um, I believe they even have a, a dance hall there. And... This is a tragedy waiting to, to happen, and I would like you to find um, a way to stop it. Okay. That will be. I agree with. I agree with the callers. We will look into this. We will look into that. I'm, because I'm aware of it. Mm-hmm. And and now that he has said that, I want to um, encourage our citizenry to to give those kind of suggestions to assist us. We are inside. We are going out, but um, they are also the eyes for the city. Um, one of the things we are hoping to do is to install a, a, a suggestion box so that we will have the suggestions coming in and um, as far as is possible, work on some of them to improve the city. Mm. We want the sense of ownership to be there. And speaking of um, improving the city, uh, we recognize that there is renovation taking place of your building yeah. and I hope by virtue of that fact that you will pass on that to other members of the commercial community to get them to improve mm-hmm. their buildings because Castries looks like the buildings in Castries 
look like a dump, most of them. They need a coat of paint, and I, I was wondering whether the city council would not provide some sort of incentive where perhaps every year you would do a, a plea bell, um, yeah. whatever, yeah. Com some competition, paint your buildings, and, and you get a trophy, and you get something. Actually, you know, it is actually something this is... Um one of the, the oh, oh we didn't speak about our 50th anniversary but anyway that is to come um, one of the items or one of the programs that um, we have included on our 50th anniversary calendar and we'll be giving some more information on that later is just what you said the plea plus plea, plea bell plus plea bell plus that is to come hmm. yeah it is to come and um, what we are doing is moving ahead of our business places so when they see what the council looks like they will obviously decide, will hey, inspire we need them. to do something about our own building. Yeah, yeah I quite agree. I quite agree. This is long overdue. Mm -hmm. I was telling you um, during our meeting yesterday, a lot of people, you know, when they look at castries from the morn, mm. they say, wow, what a picturesque city. And then they, when they make their way into the city, and when they get into the oh city, they're so goodness. shocked. I just... They're at the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of. So let's we're hope this to change becomes. That. Yeah, we're hoping to change that. Banan. The Banan, Banan? area. Mm. Yes, we we all I those trailer trucks. Yeah, there. that's could, a that's a traffic hazard. I, yeah. Before you answer, let's take our final call from Castries. Our final Castries call. Good evening, you're the final caller. Good evening, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. Let me tell you, um, the fellas who clean the drains, they have a long stick with a wire netting on it. They only pick up the things at the top, but there is mud in the bottom of the drains and they do not take it out. Mm -hmm. Also, by the, therefore, bus stop there by the Constellation Lodge. Anytime it rains, the water stays there because the drain is blocked. So this portion of the road there needs cutting and whatever stone or whatever that is underneath the preventing the water from going down has to come out. Yeah. Thank you for the very good job you're doing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thank much, Carla. Appreciate that. Yeah. Point taken, huh? Yeah, that's a, that's mm -hmm. a thing. Yeah. You have to look at that. Yeah. Bye now. Yeah, Bannon, we have plans of Bannon. I mean, we are working with the Port Authority. Um, the general manager has sent an access some assistance from physical planning, some technical advice, and we are waiting that. Yeah, I can remember in my opening speech in, in the, when I've been installed, I said, you know, when you, you drive from Viewfort and you reach, you, you, you reach and you see the harbor, and then when you, you start, you know, and then when you take to go down to Ban and Full Ashu and you look at you then go back to sleep again because you realize <laughs> <laughs> that it looks like you have a you have a, another two hours to go again because when you see the condition of the place, just to realize you you're in the city. Yeah. So that we have to uh, we have to yeah, look at. I mean we, we there there are things that St. Lucian will see. It's not a it's not a normal. I'm not saying we are not normal people. But, you know, we, we, we have a purpose, and we, we, we want to execute what has to be done for the city. Closing mm -hmm. thoughts. Um, I would just like to take this opportunity to thank the many people who are joining hands with us, you know, to assist in the development of, um, of, our, of our constituency, Castries constituency. You're getting new bins I, um, very soon? Well, oh, I see well, some bins we look very, very... Very, uh, yes. Yeah, we, we we have been we have been doing some um, chit chatting with two of our sister cities, and we're hoping to have some additional bins um, in the city. Um, we did not mention that St. Lucia Chamber of Commerce and Slaspa and the number of the business places yeah. around would really love to hold hands. They have they have had meetings with us, and we want to say thank you to them for coming to the force thus far, and we want to thank you. No, it's a pleasure. I, I, so I'm very thrilled. I mean, I, as as he says, you know, a CDC boy, oh. Castry City, <laughs> yeah. means a lot to me, yeah. and I couldn't think of a better place, a better person to <laughs> to have that um, responsible role. Closing mm -hmm. thoughts. Yeah, Dave, I would like to thank you, uh, but um, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Oh, yes, you, yeah, you, we, you, we, I did, I did, um, uh, I did. Um, 
what I would like to also the public um, is not only that it's coming from a certain quarter. I mean, it's coming from both sides of the political divide. Because you realize, you know, that as I've said, politics is all, every five years. Let's play it at the five years. Now the people has given the government a mandate to manage. Yes, we will consult, we will educate and so on, but we are not elected to come and give a report card after five years of consultation and education. We have to see how we have brought this country, make it a better place for people to live and to enjoy. And basically that's the, I'm very passionate about the city. Um, one of the, the dreams I hope that I will ha I, I have is to the bus a, a bus terminal mm -hmm. to unclog that city. That is one of my dreams. It might I may be gone before it, but I mean that is one of my, my dreams. But I would like to fund the public. I mean they encourage us, they support us, and I think that is a driving force behind us. Mm -hmm. And it bears repetition. You've really um the word is transformational. Mm -hmm. You know, the, um, this new team, you've really transformed the city of Castries, and I'm really excited about what Castries is likely to look like in the next two to three years. I just hope that I'm alive to see it um, be become alive. a reality. We say bon dieu. No, because <laughs> you're in a cleaner city. <laughs> right, there you go. And please, we'll welcome your ideas. Yes. yes. So. Yes, I do have some. I've on. given some to Jason already. I oh, don't know. Great. I don't know if he's. It's patented. Eh? I, okay. I All know, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, um, Anselma. Um, Thank you. Cauldron, mm -hmm. uh, CEO, and uh, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Peterson Francis for being here this evening and I want to thank our wow our viewers for responding so very well tonight and your views and concerns um, have been heard and uh, I really hope that uh, these two will not be strangers we will see them again in a few months time to report on progress. Some, on <laughs> progress okay thank you very much this program is going to be rebroadcast on Sunday at the same time, half past eight until 10 o'clock and on Wednesday morning, right after the um, morning news. This is David Samuel speaking, Mr. Chairman, on behalf of Randall and um, our friends upstairs. This meeting is adjourned.